welcome again and this is my new project online e-commerce portal and i have developed this project in uh, python django and mysql the python version i am using is the python version 2.7 and the django version is 1.11 uh, and the mysql version is 5.6 so this is the backend technology for frontend i am using the html css and javascript and some of the jquery library for giving some good effects in the project so the title is online e-commerce portal also this is a bootstrap theme and uh, it's uh, responsive according to a screen size the screens will be shrunk out means if you open this project on the tab then the screen will be fitted out according to tab and if you open this screen into the mobile then it will be also fitted out according to the mobile screen so this is the technology stack which I have used in this project so let's just start with the functionality so this is the home page of the project as you are seeing this is a really a very good and normal and simple home page this is the about page so this is about online shopping system so if you want to change the content of this page then you can directly do it from the estimate page this is the product section so if you uh, if you open this uh, project, uh, sorry, uh, if you need want to add more project, uh, products inside this, so currently I have added eight products available inside the database. So the right products are showing here. If you want to add more, then there is an add panel also from where you will be able to add the products, products and those products will be listed here, right? So this is the category means if you click on any of the category then only those category product will be displayed here so i have added uh, uh, means one or two products inside the category so if you want to add the category then you can also add the category here also this is the register so if you don't have the user id and password then you will you need to register inside the system without registering inside the system we will not be able to uh, purchase the product so this is the restriction of the system this is the login and from where admin and customer both will be able to log in from this page so this is a role based system it means admin and customer there are two types of role available inside the system and for both a single login page will be available and both can be logged in from a single page this is the contact us page with google map integration so you can check this is the google map integration this uh, google map is showing Okay, this Google map only work if you have the internet connection running on your laptop or desktop. Without it, it will not be, it will not work, right? So this is all about the pages. Now I'm going to purchase any product. So I'm going to this one. So as I told you earlier that without uh, login, you will not be able to purchase any of the product. So I'm logging and I'm also going on the product. This is the buy one. This is the details of the product. And if I click on the add to cart, then you will be able to see this item has been added inside the cart. And now this one. So there are two items inside the cart. So now I am going to add these five items. So this is the five items and total cost is if you want to delete anyone, then you can delete it also from here. So this is the delete functionality so the total amount you need to pay is 7050 rupees so there are two button proceed to check out or continue shopping so if you click on the proceed to check out then you will be redirected to the payment page if you click on the continue page then you will be able to get the uh, product listing page again and you can add more product there okay now i'm click on proceed to check out though this is the dummy page i am not uh, saving or I am not performing any of the real transaction from this card so I just entered a dummy, P, uh, dummy card details here and just click on the make payment and after that you will be able to get the receipt so you this is the receipt details the order ID is 7 and you place this order on this time order status confirmed and this so also you will be able to print the receipt so if you click on the print then a pop-up will be appear and you will be able to print the receipt so this is a full flow now uh, i am going on the my order session so 
<laughs> also i want to show you one thing so this is above many totally session driven if you log out from the system the amount when will be changed and if i log in again then above men will be different right so if you click on the my order section then you will be able to see all of your orders and if you click on the view items then you will be able to see the number of items which you have purchased okay so if you click on if you don't want to cancel the order then you can cancel this order also then after cancelling this order you will not be cancelled again and the status will be order cancelled right this is the my order section this is the my account section from where you will be able to update your account details and the change password section from where you will be able to change your password okay so this is the customer functionality now i am going to log in as an admin functionality so this is the admin credential so this is the admin dashboard and this uh, operations admin can perform means admin can see the product report admin can see the product type report company report and the com customer report order report add the product at the company and the product type and my account and change password the same operation can be done from this menu also right the menu which is available here is also available here so i am clicking on the new product section so this is the products which is available on the database so currently there are nine products so if you want to add more products then you can add it from here right so add new product then you will be able to add the product and those product will be displayed on the front uh, on the all product section so this is added so you can see this is that product section and if you click on the submit then product will be saved this is the add new product type means what type of product is means that is the main accessories women's accessories gift items you can add from here also this is the add new company means the company of the product then you can add the company from here this is the product report right so from uh, this is this i already explained this is the company report so this four companies i have added but you can add a number of companies so where this company will be displayed let me show you this also so this company will be displayed here in this drop down so this all drop downs are dynamic and the product uh, type is also displayed here right so this is the product type report so there are eight product types available so if you want to add more then you can add more also this is the order report so admin can see all of the orders so this is the cancel report that's why so view items and if admin want to so this is the confirm order right so now i am going to uh dispatched i am going to update the order status at dispatched so you can see the order status is dispatched now if add uh, customer login then customer will be able to see the dispatch details right this is the customer report so all the customer which has been registered on the website will be able to uh, uh, all the customer which is available on the website all uh, details will be displayed here inside the customer details also admin will be able to delete and edit the customer details also this is the my account section for the admin so system admin details so if admin want to update his account details then he can do it from here and this is a change password right from where admin will be able to change his password details all right this is the logout session if i log out then above menu will be changed so this is the all about the project the online e-commerce portal so if you need more functionality in this project so this is a major project right with admin and customer both of the functionality admin has set of functionality and customer has set of functionality but admin has a full rights admin as customer has specific rights to perform the operation so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes inside the project and i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest clauses thanks for watching the video thank you very much